as more and more guests begin to trickle and Paimon takes the opportunity to order a whole array of delicious dishes. So much yummy food! Oh, I'm gonna feast! <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, um... Is the food to your taste, um, Claudina? One is fond of all kinds of delicacies and delights in a multitude of flavors. <laughs> the dishes here demonstrate no shortage of culinary skill. Their unique flavor mm. profile has left one more than satisfied. In fact, one has been struck by quite Next generation of inspiration. cuisine machine. One has already begun to conceptualize oh, really? the next generation of supreme cuisine machines. Everything's so tasty. A bit too hot at times, but still super tasty. Yes, it is. Did I see that on the right? Isn't that Shuyu? But uh, who is that? That person next to her? I've never seen her. Oh wait, I, I should I should uh, actually um do as if I d I didn't know Shuyu. So who are these two characters? I haven't didn't see them before. I'm sorry, miss, but our tables are full. Shall we try somewhere else, Granny? But it smells so delightful. Granny. Can we really not eat here? My poor legs can't go on for much longer. Well, you could always check with some of the other guests and see if anyone's happy to share a table. Okay, uh, I'll ask around. It's going to be us. It's going to be us. Yeah. Excuse me. Would you mind letting us share a table with you? There are no empty tables left, so... Ah, well, Paimon doesn't mind. What about you guys? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind either, as long as you don't mind our chatter. Great! Thanks so much. My name is Shuyu, and this is my granny, Yuandai. Oh. Yuandai. The... Granny? Yeah, granny. Yep. Is there something wrong with that? No, no! Behind's just a bit surprised! She looks so young! <laughs> yeah, a lot of people compliment Granny on her youthful looks, but she's actually much older than she appears. Ah, this thing. <sighs> huh? Uh, what's going on here? Granny, why don't you take a seat? Come on, it's not polite to stare. Huh. Have we met before? Yeah, that's what I that's what I, I what I thought of. No. There's no. But I think that maybe there's a wrong memory of something that happened in which the tool or Tis a faded meeting then. Please. Take a seat. What would you like to eat, Granny? I can order for you. I want braised earthworms. Braised earthworms. They always pop up out of the ground after a rainstorm. <sighs> no, no, <laughs> not this again. Okay. Granny, there's no braised earthworms on the menu. Braised earthworms? Yeah. Well, that sounds that weird. That sounds a bit weird. Do people actually but I mean, eat that? Not people who eat yeah, earthworms. Not her to ask, though. Right, that's what Paimon was thinking, too. I... Need any help? Help? Oh, do you mean with Granny? Thanks, that's nice of you to offer. 
Granny has pretty bad dementia, so her memory is getting worse all the time. Dementia. She's always saying things that sound kind of confusing. Actually, her memory's been bad ever since I was little. But it's gotten so bad lately since you were little. that I even have to remind her who I am every morning. That sucks. But, um... About... About your parents. They died young. It's just me and Granny yes. now. Hmm... Oh, um... Uh, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Granny loves me a lot, and I love her a lot, too. Sure, it's hard at times, but you just gotta make the best of the life you've... Wow, you're really tough for your age, yeah. kid. Yeah, she is really tough. <laughs> you're too kind. And me? Or oh, what about me? Yeah, about, what about me? You're tough too, Granny. Plus, you're really gentle. And you're always there for me. Yes, and it's hardly as if I forget everything. I still remember the important things. Uh... Wait, what was that real... Ah, I remember now. It was a dream. I had a dream where everything was dark. Someone was standing in front of me. She told me to come and find her, and that once I'd found her, I would be free. First dream. Um, Nahida, continue to go um, uh, have, have a look. So, what are her dreams about? Or that what's once that we found I would be free. Interesting. Huh? That sounds super important. But how come you've never told me about it before? Maybe um she remembered because uh, she was enchanted Janyun now loud trainer. It was just a dream, so I forgot about it. But I'm in a good mood now, and somehow I remembered it again. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know, I believe I've had this dream a great hmm. many times. But just how many times have I had it? Wait, so you have a reoccurring dream where someone's talking to you? That sounds spooky. <gasps> Does that mean you're possessed? Obsessed? Um, maybe uh, you talk to uh, Shandun or Bichandras or even Hu Dao. Or any Adeptus. Unlikely. Her eyes are clear and her breathing remains calm and mm. level. One sees no signs of possession. Are you sure? Who do you take me for? Is one <laughs> not an adept? Is, hmm, am I not an expert? Huh, you're right. Paimon almost forgot you're the expert. In that case, do you still remember what the person in your dreams looked like, Granny? Not anymore. Although, I have a sense that she looked rather like me. But not as I am now, my younger self. <laughs> A younger version of Granny? This is just getting weirder and weirder. What is going on here? As one said, fate must have brought us together. You may leave this situation to me. Are you sure? Um... So, what are your name? Paimon's Paimon. And I'm Lmul. Just Shen Yun is me... fine. Thank you all so much for offering to help. But first, I'm sorry for asking, but, um, how do you want us to pay you? Oh, we don't need any payment for this. I mean, 
just curious about situation. Hope if we can, because we are uh, you know, uh, a traveler and a faithful companion, and uh, we tend to help people left, right, and center without some sometimes without compensation because it's just out of the goodness of our heart. Elementary. Since her dreams portray her elementary, younger self, Watson. then we shall retrace the steps of her youth. Once we have revisited those places, her memories will likely return. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. Hmm. So, Granny, do you remember which places you went to when you were young? Why, of course I do. The heavens above. The earth below emerald mountain the wispy streams clouds, and the emerald and mountain will? streams. Okay, taking that as a no. I might have an idea. Once when I was really little, my dad told me the granny used to be a martial artist heroine who saved lots mm. of people from a disaster. If it's true, then maybe they wrote about it in the history books or something. A martial arts heroine? Hmm. Oh, Shinto knows tons oh. about Liwa's chivalric traditions. If anyone knows about the heroes of the past, it's him. Let's go find him okay, at the so, Commerce Guild. Uh, Scratch. Scratch is, is in show from the people that we have to see. <laughs> now. We're going to see him now. Um, now. Are you leaving Wait. already? But I'm still hungry. I'll go order some food, Granny. If there's nothing on the menu you especially want, I'll just get a few different things. It seems we must part ways for now. The Traveler and Paimon are bound for the Feiyun Commerce Guild, while you and I and Shuyu shall remain here and partake of their lunch. As for myself, I have matters Rambler. to discuss with Streetward Rambler. <laughs> Street okay. Word? Precisely. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace once you are ready. Oh, okay, okay. Um, let's talk to Shuyu and Hyundai. Uh, Where are you going, Granny? Don't you like the food? Fresh milk. I need to buy you some fresh milk. Milk? Why? You need to drink milk before eating, or the spicy food will make you cry. Uh, Hush, okay. little one. It's advice. Don't cry. Little one. <laughs> Granny, you're forgetting things again. I'm not a little baby anymore. I can eat spicy food now. Even the super spicy dishes, like their fish stew. I can eat two whole bo Wonderful! How oh, wonderful! My darling granddaughter is all- My boy! And show. It's you two. What brings you here? Shincho! Great, we found you! We wanted to ask you about something. Then the situation to Shincho. Hmm. That's not a whole lot of information to go off of. I don't know if I can well, say Well, that's for fine. Sure. Anything is helpful and appreciated. I can't pinpoint her identity from your description alone, but considering her age, I am reminded of a nameless heroine who's been featured in various chivalric novels. Nameless heroine? 
Oh, wait. That's right. The novels often speak of a great drought from 50 years ago. As the people suffered, a nameless heroine appeared and began to clear away evil spirits and bandit camps. The people idolized her, but never learned her name. All they knew was that she always acted alone. Later, though, she supposedly fell in love with a similarly noble-minded exorcist from Mount Tianhang. They were well matched in more ways than one, often fighting together as a fearsome duo of otherworldly strength. <laughs> After the drought ended, the heroine and the exorcist left the public eye and began living a reclusive life in the mountains. All that remained were tales of her incredible accomplishments. The way this nameless heroine faded from fame into obscurity later in life is not too dissimilar from Miss Yuendai. I hope that's somewhat helpful. Thanks a lot, Xingqiu. We knew it'd be worth talking to you. <laughs> it's nothing at all. Just something I came across while reading. I did do a bit of extra research on her story, but it was just... Well, Paimon still thinks that's super cool. Oh, wait, Chincho, if you've read up on her, do you know of any places often associated with her? Let me think. In the novels, the nameless heroine always appeared near one of three places. Wangshu Inn, the area just north of Jue Yunkarst, and Qingyun Peak. Perhaps the real-life heroine who inspired the character was also often seen near those three places. That would explain why those locations appear in the various novels written about her. Oh. Uh, thanks, thanks so much, Sinshou. Really, yo. Uh, as I said before, he's the unsung hero of Genshin Impact. So, obviously, he was... A huge help. <laughs> You're welcome. To be honest, I found some parts of the story confusing when I first came across it. If Miss Yuendai was indeed the original inspiration for the character, she may just be able to help me put the pieces together. It's rare for a chivalric hero to fade into obscurity during their lifetime, even after retiring from the public eye. But... No one ever saw or heard from the nameless heroine again. There were even rumors that she became extremely ill. Race. I've never understood why someone would go to such lengths to erase themselves from public memory. It's almost as if she was trying to hide from something. There's probably far more to the- We'll be sure to tell you if we manage to uncover the truth! <laughs> I'm on. Why do you keep telling everyone? <laughs> That's a deal. Perhaps behind the truth of it all, there lies a story more fantastical than any work of fiction. Paimon feels like we just learned so much from Shinto. A drought, a nameless heroine, a life of seclusion. Uh, wait. Why does mm -hmm. the story sound super familiar? Oh, right. There's a drought in this story, too! Um, Xingqiu, are droughts super common in Liyue or something? Well, they used to be. Hmm. But people have long since developed methods to prevent them. Like by cultivating the soil or digging canals. Okay. So while droughts do happen from time to time, they are rarely regarded as true disasters. The drought 50 years ago is probably one of the worst we've had in the last several centuries. The crops withered, the streams ran dry, and the monsters in the mountains became rabid and agitated. Countless caravans were attacked, and people who lost their homes came together to form mm. bandit groups. What started as a natural disaster soon became a human tragedy as well. That sounds awful. Yeah, that do sound awful. 
Yeah. And that's exactly why the nameless heroine was so beloved. She must have been someone of true integrity to do so much for the people while asking nothing in return. Still, as terrible as that drought was, it was nothing compared to the truly calamitous disasters that befell this land in ancient times. They say that back in those days, disasters were both more severe and more common. Only the strongest of Adepti could hope to dispel the ruin and devastation. Do you have any other questions? We're good for now. We're just going to head back and meet up with Miss Yanyan and the others again. Paimon hopes that Granny Yuendai will be able to remember more of her past. She used to be a great hero who saved many people. So sad that she can't recall any of it. Yeah. Anyway, we'll be off now. See you some other time, Xingqiu. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you so much, Xingqiu. We'll see each other next time. Hopefully. It's no problem at all. Safe travels. Ah, my boys in show. Unsung hero of Genshin Impact. Still here. I want to talk to him. Xingqiu. Time erases everything. Even the greatest of heroes will have their legacy reduced to the small fraction of their deeds that were committed to paper. But I think the magic of chivalric novels lies in the way you can catch glimpses of a noble soul from a few mere paragraphs. What a... what a... what a G. And show you the best. You know that? Things you may need. Forward. Game. Alright. Campaign I engineer. The tomb that you uh, requested. I hope you. it will be of help to you. Is that some sort of um, radiant spin crystal? Like, this is more like an emerald crystal. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Straight word, Ping. What has amused you so? Oh, it's no serious matter. I was just reminiscing about the last time I saw you in this form. Time has wrought such change in this world, and yet, you <laughs> appear just the same as ever. Time has little bearing on one's existence, nor has one keenly felt its effects whilst dwelling at Mount Outsong. Nevertheless, Ping, one would like to seek your counsel on a personal matter. Oh, why so formal all of a sudden? I must say, you're making me a little nervous. What is it? <laughs> Adam Ping. Well, the inquiry is as such. A approximately how much Mora would one need to afford a comfortable life in the harbor, not unlike the one that you yourself lead. Hmm. It does not require as much as you may think. <laughs> Still, do you mean that? Cloud retainer, Madam Ping. Uh, what are you doing about? <clears throat> Nothing save for some trivial matters. <sighs> Have you unearthed any useful details? Shinjo has a theory, but let's save it for when Chu Yu and Miss and I have joined up with us again. You and Yundai are soon arrived at the scene. Paimon relays Sinsho's fury. Mm. Say sorry. Do not be troubled, young lady. Here, have some tea. Uh, thank you so much. What do you think, Shuyu? Does it match up with what you know of your granny? Hmm. According to the story, 
The nameless heroine eventually fell in love with an exorcist Insist. from Mount Tianhan. Maybe... That's a cyst. That's my grandpa. I don't have many memories of him. But there is this one time, I found a box in our attic full of a bunch of weird sigils. Weird sigils. Sigil of permissions? Uh, sigils of permission? Yeah, well. As of all that, it seems like the stories were on the right track. Should probably pay a visit to the three places mentioned in the books. I think so too. Granny might remember something when she's returned to a familiar place. What marvelous tea. I can taste the dews. It's as if I was taking a stroll in the mountains. Thoroughly one with nature and at peace. Is that so? Then please drink as much as you like. There's no need to hurry. At our age, it's always nice to slow down and take the time to appreciate pleasant conversation among friends. Thank you. Ah, let's rest for a while then. Okay, since we have the time, can I ask you something? Sure thing. What would you like to know? Um... I have a secret I want to tell you. Let's go talk over there. A secret? What secret? I want to know a secret. Tell me. Please tell me. since we started talking in the restaurant but are you guys all adepti in disguise um about that <clears throat> Depti in disguise. Yeah. I'm I'm a Depti in mole. She's a Dept uh, uh oh, sorry. I'm a Dept in the mole. She's a Deptus Paimon. And uh we have um Deptus Mama Bird. Oh uh, about that. Why do why do you say that? Super special. Plus, I think I might have heard Miss Shen Yun call herself an adeptus. Ah, must have been a slip of the tongue. Shen Yun, <laughs> since you were the one who uh, misspoke, maybe you can explain to Shu Yu here what you really meant by that. One is indeed an adeptus. Is that of some concern to you? Of course she's going to tell. I knew it. So you don't sound surprised at all that uh, Jean Yun over there is an adeptus. Well, one time when I was a little kid, I saw a pure white illuminated crate. Okay. I had this super high fever and Granny wasn't around. I was feeling all icky and gross. But then this snowy white crane flew down from the sky. She put me on her back and flew me to her cool adeptus house Aww. and fed me some sort of magic potion. When I woke up, I was already back in my bed, and my fever was gone. Okay. I really <laughs> wanted to thank her, 
But I was too sleepy to stay awake, so I never got the chance. So, I just kind of wanted to ask if maybe... Any of you have ever met an adeptus like that? Um... Have we met... Have we met an adept? Yeah. Um... I don't know. Maybe we did. But I don't remember, unfortunately. <laughs> A pure white illuminated crane? The only two we've ever met are blue and white and black and brown. Hmm. Have you ever met one that's pure white, Clavertina? Hmm. Never has one met an adeptus with such features. One mm -hmm. surmises such a description is but a hyperbolic embellishment that oft results from narrative accounts. That's weird. Was it really just a dream then? Well, even if it was just in my head, it doesn't matter that much anyway. All I really want is to help Granny recover her memories. I'm really grateful for all your help. Leave it to us! Now that we know the three locations, we just need to visit them one by one! Let's go to Wang Shu Inn first! Okay. Okay, go. I'll go get Grin. Uh, the animations for slowly, I mean, not slowly, but moving away. It's quite goofy. <laughs> I mean, that's how it should runs, I suppose. Uh, that you can come over for a cup of tea mm -hmm. anytime. Thank you so much. Alright. Now, go to one shoot.